what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The woman the first to be sentenced under South African laws criminalizing racist language called two police officers Kaffirs, a highly offensive term to black South Africans. This marks the first time in the country's history that they sentenced a white woman for using racist language. Who is this beastly creature who thinks that she doesn't bleed red and her shit doesn't stink? Her name is Vicky Mongberg, and she was sentenced to up to three years in prison for an incident that took place in Johannesburg in February 2016 when she was filmed making derogatory comments toward the black police officers who had responded to her call of a reported robbery. She was convicted last November of four counts of the use of racially offensive language. In the viral video, Mumberg can be heard talking to someone on the phone about police officers dispatched to the scene. She referred to them as kafirs, a term that was used during apartheid and which lawmakers have in recent years tried to criminalize along with other forms of hate speech. The kafirs here in Joburg are terrible, Mumberg said. I'm sick of it. I really am. At one point, an officer approached her while attempting to speak with Mongberg, she yelled, I don't care. I don't like a single black Joburg. Nasty Mongberg then made comments about the difference between black South Africans in Johannesburg and Durban, claiming that the former group is opinionated, they're arrogant, and they're just plain and simple useless. She went on to tell the officer, I am happy for a white person to assist me, or a colored person, or an Indian person. I don't want a black person to assist me. The exchange continued for several minutes and reached a peak when Monberg threatened to run black people over with her car and kill them. Y'all know where all this comes from, right? She thinks, she really does think. Her shit don't stink. She really does think her skin makes her superior. Her skin alone, not her skills, not her intelligence, not some type of superpower that she has or some type of athletic ability that she has or some type of craft or God-given skill or talent she has. No, just, just for the mere fact that she's white, she thinks she's superior. Did you hear what she said? They're opinionated. The, the Africans from, the black Africans from South Africa, Johannesburg, they're, they're opinionated. They're, they're, they're uh, what did she say? They're arrogant. In other words, that's code for their uppity. They have an opinion. They really, they think something. They think for themselves. That's what she's really saying. They think for themselves. They're not controlled. They're not easily controlled. That's what she wants to say. But she guides it with these ridiculous statements of, oh, they're arrogant. They're, now, you tell me who sounds arrogant. Listen to all of the stuff that she said. And you tell me who's arrogant. Would I even ever even land eyes on a South African, a black South African, or listening to a black South African? You tell me who's arrogant. They put her in jail for hate speech, but not threatening a police officer? I mean, at least in America, and I would think in many parts of the world, threatening a police officer could get you some type of jail time. I mean, here, that's a terroristic threat. I wonder what was going through her mind as that black judge passed down her sentence. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to have her in PC. I would imagine that her prison vacation won't be all that pleasant. They need to try that over in America, man. Yeah. The hell with freedom of speech. I'm cool with getting rid of it. If we can get rid of all these damn hate groups, we can stop all this, these people that's preaching this hate. I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Kill that shit. It don't work no way. 
you know, certain things that you say get blocked anyway. Right here on YouTube, they block my stuff all the time. So this so-called freedom of speech, man, it's, it's not, it's just something that we say. I mean, people get in trouble all the time for saying certain things in America. So we've already lost that anyway. I'm all for stopping people in their tracks who promote this hate. I'm good with it. Boy, 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 we have half the country locked up, most of the country locked up, if they stop hate speech in America. They stop racist hate speech in America. Oh, it's a wrap out here, man. Everybody be locked up. Because this is a hating ass country. If there's nowhere else that hate exists, you can come to America and find you some good old grade A hate on any given day. She lucky I wasn't the damn judge. Because I would have gave her ass the death penalty. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?